five games in, two goals, one assist. The team's doing a really good job creating the opportunities. However, it's kind of the capitalizing. How do you guys change that going forward? Um, just in training, we want to we want to try to be creative as possible in the in the final third. Most importantly, it's it's the defensive side. You know, if if we're gonna keep playing the way we're playing right now, um, we can't we can't depend on scoring in, in, instead of defending. You know what I mean? Um, the way we're looking at it right now is keep the clean sheets and the goals will come. And three more games until you're back playing on home soil. How do you guys stay focused and kind of regroup while you're continuously on the road? The road stretch is always like, it's always difficult, right? Um, the weather doesn't help us playing home. But right now we just got to focus on getting as many points away. And then when we get the home, when we get the home games, it'll be, it'll be playing with, with 12 players on the field. And I hope that motivates our team and get more points at home. You're a local guy having grown up around here and, and participated in League One Ontario, and you've, you've grown up in the Canadian soccer scene, so how good does it feel, I guess, to be playing your your next level of soccer in Toronto? It's it's definitely a great feeling. Um, obviously, when you go overseas or anywhere else, it's a different experience. You always learn from it, but playing at home is definitely good. You get family, friends coming out to support you. Um, just knowing that you have a place um, where you grew up and where, you know, you can relate to. Just just being around and having that support behind you is, is fantastic. How important is family to your professional career? It's everything. How, how, what do your parents do, for example, uh, to help you as a player to grow or, or during hard moments? Um, my family only started coming up to the games recently, actually. Um, my dad travels a lot. My mom's not able to come to all the games but I mean now nowadays it's, it's like they see that it's it's become more of a professional environment they want to support me as much as possible so whenever I I need someone to talk to or someone to be around they're they're always there for me and what would you say to parents of, of younger children who are going through and, and wanting to become professional footballers what would you what kind of advice would you give to them just try to be there as much as possible, you know, even if it's just watching their trainings um, from a young age, like just go see their trainings. If they need extra help, try to help them, take them to a park, whatever, do do what you need to do, but just make sure that they know that you're there for them. That's that's the most important part. Awesome. Uh, last game you started off playing striker, and then after when your team received the red card, you moved on to the wings. Do you prefer playing on the, on the wings, or do you prefer playing in that central role? Uh, I, I prefer playing in the central role. Um, I like being in the middle of the park, but just under the circumstances, you know, you have to do what's best for the team.